Hey, what's up? How you doing? Welcome to another tutorial on Desktop. In this tutorial, yet yeah, we're gonna be going through the Django Crash Course. All right, I'm sure you are really, really excited to be here. So let's dive in. First of all, what is the Django? The Django is a is a Python module or library or framework, whatever that lets you build websites using Python. Basically, we have types of up, uh, modules like that to make such big websites on Python. Example is on Flux. We have the Django. We have um, Web to PY. I mean, uh, we have Web to PY or PY to Web. Uh, I can't really remember the name, but there are lots and lots of it. But in this case, we're going to be making use of the Django. But also in the future, we're going to be making a tutorial on Flux also. So all you need to do is just hit the subscribe button, smash it, break it, and everything you want to do. And let's and let's dive in. All right. So in this tutorial, if you have not installed the Django, all you need to do is just write pip, all right, pip install the Django. All right. So this this command here right here is going to install the Django for us. So after doing that, the next we need to do is just we need to start with the Django project. So to start the Django project, we need to type in Python. Python. In some case, you will see this Python is giving some errors, so you need to add theory. So make it Python theory. But in this case, we are going to be using Python. For my Python works well, not I don't need to add Python theory. All right. So I'm going to do Python theory. Um, the Django admin. Uh, sorry, it's going to be D. The Django admin. Then it's gonna be start project. Alright, so this is the command we use to build a Django project using our terminal, our CMD or terminal, or you can use your PowerShell, anything you are comfort comfortable with. Alright, so after you've written this command, the next thing we're gonna do is specify the name of of our project. Alright, so I'm just gonna you know I'm, I'm gonna delete this, I'm gonna see it to the desktop either. Alright, so I'm gonna do the Django Python, the Django admin start. Alright, this is gonna be start project. I'm gonna name this um, my app. So in this crash course, I'm gonna be building a, a an admin, and uh, sorry, not admin, a Python blog. Alright, a blog which allows only the admin to post, but it can allow visitors to comment on the website. All right, looks like I have an error, which is the Django admin no such file or directory. Okay, okay, so this is Python. Oh, sorry, this is the Django admin start project. This is gonna be my app. All right, sorry about that. That is a silly mistake. All right, so basically we don't need to add the Python or Python tree in front of our Django. Alright, so after you run, you're writing this command, you can see it's taking some time. What is actually doing here is it's creating it for us. Alright, so he said, oh, sorry, I already have an um, application with that name already, so I'm just gonna rename this to my app uh, one or oh, my py. Alright, so this is my Python. So I'm gonna create this project. Alright, so let's wait for some minutes. Another minute actually second. Now you can see the project has been created. To confirm, I can just head over to see my PY. You can see it is what I can have put. Uh, Alright, so this doesn't work. LS doesn't work. So basically, I can head over to my desktop here. Look for my PY. Alright, so here it is. Okay, so now we have it here. So this is basically everything it does. So I'm gonna put on my my browser so we're gonna run it and see what it's gonna look like after running. Alright. Alright, so I have my browser opened already. So I'm, what I'm gonna do is just head over to the terminal. Yeah, I'd say I'm gonna I've saved it into my project folder and I'm just gonna type in Python manage.py run server. Alright, so let's see what's gonna happen. A magic. <laughs> right, our first hello world using Python Django. Oh, I'm so so happy. All right, it's working, it's working, it's working, it's working. Yeah, our code has successfully compiled. So I'm just gonna copy this, then right, I'm gonna paste this there and click enter. Now you can see, boom, 
we have the jungle up and running why so congratulations you've completed the first step all right so let's dive in more